Some teachers and special educators at the Denver School for Arts could soon be out of a job. A recent budget hearing showed that the school is running a major deficit. Denver 7's Sam Pena spoke with parents protesting the upcoming cuts. Dozens of parents and students protesting for their children's educators. There are teachers currently in the school who've been here 20, 25 years whose jobs are on the line. A parent of three at the Denver School of Arts, Karen Blank says the protest stems from Monday's school budget meeting. We understand that the district's over budget and that cuts have to happen across the district. Our concern is that the way in which cuts are happening. The budget showed a nearly $500,000 deficit. In response, the school will cut several teacher and special education positions. Students saw their teachers being pulled out for interviews about whether they keep their jobs or not. It's a frustrating move for parents who recently saw the school expand with a $30 million purchase of the Johnson Wales Culinary Building. I don't know why they would expand. We, we have declining enrollment. But DPS says that purchase was made using bond funds. Bond dollars have to be used on infrastructure and improving school buildings and, and other buildings. It cannot be used on staff. And DPS Communications Director Scott Pribble says the cuts are happening across the district. We are seeing declining enrollments in our southwest area and our, our northwest area. After enrollment declined nearly 3% in just the past year. As I think about my seventh grader and what's ahead, I'm, I'm very concerned concerned about whether there'll be any good teachers left. Leaving Karen and her children worried about what lies ahead. There's tears shared by teachers and parents because of the lack of transparency. For Denver 7, everyone's in fear for their job. I'm Sam Pena. Now DPS says they haven't made a decision on which positions will be cut yet or how many, but they expect to complete that process by the end of the month.